Hey guys! What's up everybody? Welcome to the next part of our 8 view of Omi adventure in the modern day. Number 6. 6, I think. Number 6. Uh, we'll we're go gonna go to Ukimido Temple in a minute. Do you know what the original painting was called? Yes. Uh, it is called Katata Rakugan. Katata which Rakugan. Is, uh, wild geese returning home uh, to Katata. Uh, so it actually doesn't have Ukimido in the title, but the, the view is always like the Ukimido temple, which is this like floating pavilion, as they say, like temple built out over the water. Mm -hmm. So the temple name is Mangetsuji Temple, and it's most famous for its floating pavilion, which is called Ukimido. Yep. Yeah, so, but the, the prince usually, it always has like the lake and maybe some people on boats and the temple and then geese coming back. Cool. So I guess what time of whatever time of year that would be. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now we're going to get some, uh, hopefully, some Ichigo Daifuku, yeah. strawberry Daifuku. Yes, yes. But we might be a little late in season for that. So yeah, if not, I'm not convinced that there are not going to be any more. I, I am not. I am not and hopeful. I was so sure. I was just here not that long ago. I'm not yeah, hopeful, today. but we will see. I mean, there should have some kind of Daifuku. We'll but this place, so Daifuku is like rice cake. Mm, like yeah. pounded rice mochi um, yeah. with some kind of fruit inside of it. Yeah. So, so it should be delicious because like this place is like known for its daifuku. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get some of that. Yeah. And then we're gonna head out to the temple. Yes. Hi. Hi. これ元になったのは中国の少々の道帝国という湖のえそこを同じようにこう風景をあ、ちょっとこう上を開いて。Okay, Maddie. So what did we just buy? <laughs> we did not get Ichigo Daifuku. <laughs> as it turns out, uh that So pine it. <laughs> yes, so my apologies. I was here during Golden Week and apparently that was the last time that they serve Ichigo Daifuku. Mm. However, they have something that might be even better which is kinkan daifuku, which we haven't eaten yet, but he described it as it's some like sort of a, citrus fruit. A citrusy like fruit, semi-sour, like, like yeah. yeah. And a little smaller, maybe, I don't know. And I do not believe yeah. that it can be a strawberry, but okay. I'm willing good, to though. give it a chance. It's, it's really cold, we haven't eaten it yet. If it's really good, I will maybe forgive you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You can't have like strawberry daifuku. I get the feeling that if you go to that shop anytime, you're gonna get something special, something unique. Because he was talking about pineapple. Mm -hmm. He said he was like um, starting a new thing of um, doing a pineapple daifuku, mm -hmm. which is a first. And he was asking like, the people that lived in that neighborhood if uh, like, how it was get, getting their opinions and everything. Mm -hmm. So, yes, recommend, do recommend. pavilion mm -hmm. um, that we were just on famous earlier. For, uh, yeah, famous in lots of photos in the Omiyake. Yes, this one was called Katata Dakugan. Dakugan, I knew that. Wild geese alighting at Katata, or wild geese returning, returning to Katata. Returning at Katata, yeah. So Maddie, do you have any history facts about either the painting or the temple or anything? Never. Apparently there was a monk who was a monk, uh, like lived at Enyakuji temple, and he was looking out from like some part of the Enrakuji complex over Lake Biwa and he saw like a glittering light in the lake. Oh yeah. And I think either he saw it once or he would see it frequently. And so he went down to investigate uh, and he like threw a net in and pulled out um, a small Buddha statue. And then that was gold, I think. 
Oh no, it was really small. Maybe it was only like 13 millimeters or something. So he pulled out a tiny oh, statue. You saw that from out here. <laughs> I guess so glittering in the yeah. I think he built Ukimido to like he enshrined it there. So he carved a Buddha sculpture, and then put the one that he'd found inside it. And but now there's it in like Ukimido. Yeah. So then he carved uh, a th a hundred or a thousand. I bet actually it's probably in the pamphlet. Uh, a thousand. One thousand. So he carved one thousand sculptures of Amitabha. If you go in the Kanon Hall, Kanon Temple, which is right to the side of us, there's tons of those little Buddhist statues, like, mm. and then there's more in the floating pavilion right behind us. So the, yeah, they're everywhere, they're everywhere. On the weekends, there's a bus that goes directly here to Ukimido oh. Temple, but on the weekdays, um, you get off at Katata Demachi, which is not far, maybe a 10 minute walk. Not even that, I think. From this temple. From this temple, yeah. yeah. So it's very easily accessible. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of crowds, beautiful view of the lake, a lot of history. It's one of the eight views of Omi. Mm -hmm. yeah, Why I would think... you waste your time in Kyoto? <laughs> and then Daifuku. Yeah, yeah Daifuku totally recommend Daifuku. So thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in again to our series on the modern eight views of Omi. Mm -hmm. We got, after this one, two more, right? Two more, yeah. Ishiyama, yes. Dera, and... And Karasaki. Karasaki. Yeah. Yes. So look forward to that. I'm sure they will be beautiful. I'm mm -hmm. sure they will be very interesting. Maddie is such a she good artist. She will make beautiful things out of that. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Yeah, be sure to click the link in the description to go to the blog post that Maddie's going to write where you can mm -hmm. see the beautiful drawing that she did of this particular view of Omi and also just the blog artis articles that she writes. She writes really good blog articles too. I got some nice pictures from Emily in there too. So, yes. Yeah. If you're interested in stuff about Otsu City, um, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'm not like, I'm not a professional vlogger. I'm very self-conscious and everything and I don't make, I'm not the best at video editing, but I really love my city. So yes. um, if you're interested in Otsu City or Shiga Prefecture or both, please uh, like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. So thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next part. Yeah, part seven coming up. Bye. Bye.